beautiful campus of University of Maryland, home of the Terrapins. This place is known for their football team and their awesome basketball team. I am not here for that. I'm here to take you guys on a foodie tour. We're doing jumbo pizza. We're going to a cookie shop that delivers till 3 a.m. and a bagel shop that makes fresh bagels every morning. Let's ride. University of Maryland. I'm on College Avenue. It's breakfast time and there's one spot that the kids flock to. Opened in 1983 and banging out over 2,000 bagels a day. Welcome to the Bagel Place. Alright guys, I'm back in the kitchen here at the Bagel Place. I'm with Sean, the GM. Thanks for having us in. Probably. All right, so we're gonna make their signature dish, the Pride of Baltimore, which is what? That's one of the bagels that made you guys famous? Yeah, it's definitely our most popular sandwich. Okay, awesome. All right, so before we do that though, I hear you guys are one of the few places outside of New York that actually make your bagels in-house. We do, yeah. Can you kind of run me through the process of how that works? All right, so I've never made a bagel before. Starts with flour. Yeah. Starts with flour, okay. yeah. We have a you know, huge mixing bowl. He mix, mixes a batch with 100 pounds of flour at a time. And then he you know, cuts strips off of it and runs it through a machine, which chops it into bagel-sized pieces, and then curls them up, stretches it around, and makes it round. All right, so they come out of the conveyor belt. What's next? He puts them on the proofing board. Have to set a room temperature for the yeast, yeast to activate. Is that to get them to puff up? Yeah, so they, they proof up, they get larger. So we got a board here, fresh bagels ready to go. So what's the next step? This is near boiling water. The bagels go in there for a minute or two. The water soaks into the edge, uh, forms that nice shiny hard crust that's on the outside of your bagel. You scoop them out and spread them out on the pan. All right, and this is where the toppings go on. This is where the toppings, if the bagel gets toppings, the seeds or you know onions or whatever on top of it, and uh, bake them. Time to make the Pride of Baltimore, the specialty bagel here. What are we starting with? Start with a layer of cream cheese. Scoop. Always good on a bagel. Uh, we layer the salmon. It's Nova Scotia smoked salmon. Swiss cheese. And of course, your lettuce, tomato, and onion. The pride of Baltimore bagel. This is what the students flock to after a long night of studying, and maybe some boozing. Let me give you guys a close up. Here we go. All right, so I just got to try this beast. Delicious. Honestly, the cream cheese with, with the way the salmon were, it just worked for actually to me it kind of tasted like bacon. It was awesome. This is something I would definitely, definitely eat for breakfast every day. I love the turkey on rye. What do you always get here? I always get the egg and cheese on pumpernickel. We, we love, love the bagel place. place! My favorite bagel is the sausage egg and cheese on everything. This place is so good, I've been here twice today already. Bagel Place has the best iced coffee. So I'm with Femi, Shannon, and Caitlin. Straight up VIPs here at the Bagel Place. What's so good about this place and what is your favorite bagel? This place is awesome. My favorite bagel is the sun-dried tomato bagel and I like it with the sausage, egg, and cheese. Pepper Jack to be exact. Pepper Jack, how about mm. you? I've gotten a lot of different types of sandwiches, but I always get the everything bagel. The everything, everything bagel. bagel. Honestly, the bagels are really great, but it's all about the fresh squeezed orange juice. It's delicious. All right, not only the bagels rock, they got the fresh squeezed orange juice. Not only is this guy a bagel maker, but he's also a rhyme maker. Hit it. We're coming straight out of Bagel Place. We got the customers here because they love our taste. We have a family environment that they love to embrace. That's how we do on a Saturday. I got Brandon Fry, Good Food Do USA, coming to you live. Calm down, Rob. Okay. <laughs> Salute. Very nice. I think I found the next Jay Z. Ooh. All right, my man. All right, Jay Z. Big man. Hey. All right, back on the main strip again. This time I'm going to another campus landmark that's home to the largest slice of pizza in Maryland. Welcome to Pizza Mart. Pizza 
pizza mart. I got the master pizza maker Carlos here, and I'm freaking pumped because we're about to make the jumbo slice pizza. Let's do it. All right, how are we starting here? Well, we start opening by hump. All right, so we get some fresh dough. Stretching it out a little bit. Man, this thing's already getting huge. So you don't throw those, do you? Yes, I do. You can throw that big one? Okay, that one's too big. All right, that's what I thought. All right, so now we're putting the sauce on. Is this homemade sauce? Homemade sauce is in every morning. Every morning, excellent. Get some cheese. Throw it on some ground beef. Now some pepperoni. What's the most popular with the kids? Just the plain cheese? Plain cheese, pepperoni. All right, so we're ready to go in the oven? Yep. All right. All right, going in the oven. Thing barely fit. All right, first bite of the jumbo slice. I want you guys to get a close up of this monster. Compare it to my giant head here. All right, I went with the cheese because that's the most popular flavor for the students. Here we go. All right, just tried the jumbo slice. Not only is this thing enormous, but it's enormously delicious. I really, really liked it. After a long night out, there is only one choice, jumbo slice. What is so good about Jumbo Slice after a night at the bars? Well, once you've been having a few drinks, you can't really find any good food, but somehow you kind of can smell the Jumbo Slice and you just happen to find it no matter where you are, even though you'll go through a couple blocks prior. And then once you finally wait on the line and you order whatever version of the Jumbo Slice, I like cheese. It's just the most fantastic thing. And I, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love Jumbo Slice. It's the best. Now we're off to a newcomer that's only been on campus for a couple years and is already on legendary status. This place bakes fresh cookies all day long and the best part, they deliver to the dorms up to 3 a.m. in the morning. Welcome to Insomnia Cookies. This is a 12 pack right here. You can actually get this thing delivered to your dorm room, believe it or not. I want to show you guys some of these cookies. We got the chocolate mint. We got the double chocolate. The chocolate chip. The macadamia. Honestly, I could go on and on. They have like 12 or 13 flavors here. You have to try insomnia cookies. They are the bomb. All right, I'm here with the manager, Dominic. Thank you so much for having me in. No event. problem at all. I'm so pumped to be in here. First of all, tell me a little bit about Insomnia Cookies. Um, so we are a late night uh, cookie delivery service. We also do in-store. So we're open till 3 a.m. at like most of the locations. We have a few random ones that do 4 a.m. as a kind of a tester. But for the most part, um, we sell warm cookies to kids and so everyone else. I heard you guys have only been here like a couple years. Yeah, we've been in this location for about a year, year and a half. Um, so we're relatively new, but the campus has already embraced this, so and we love them. It's that popular already. 
super popular. So between 10 and three, we'll do anywhere between like 45 to 70 deliveries a night. <laughs> How many cookies a day? Two to 3,000 cookies a day. I mean, we're, we're super busy. Cookies. That's nuts, okay. What are we making today? Today we're gonna make you a cookie witch, which is what we're famous for. Okay. Um, it's two of our warm cookies with any type of ice cream you want in between it. And also we'll uh, set you up with a 12 pack, which is like a variety of cookies that we serve. Awesome, all right. What do you recommend? I mean, the Snickerdoodle is a big popular cookie in Maryland and just at Maryland University. Cool. Let's cool. Then we're gonna put it together like this. We're gonna do a nice little diaper fold so you can walk around with it without having a mess all everywhere, everywhere for you. This thing looks bomb. Yes. All right, now it's time to try this beast. Come on, y'all! Guys, this thing was so good. I just had a bite of it. Honestly, this is definitely one of the best desserts I've ever had. Let's get a little close-up action of that. The chocolate chunk, the snickerdoodle combined with the cookies and cream. Honestly, absolutely delicious. This is a must try. I'm here with Danielle. Danielle, how often do you come to Insomnia? I've been a few times. I live in the neighborhood, so. Oh, cool, cool. And what kind of cookies did you get today? Today I went with classic chocolate chip. What is so good about the cookies here? They're baked uh, warm and fresh every day and get them right out of the oven. You can't beat that. Nice, nice. Thank you very much. The cookies here are always fresh and so delicious. I mean, it's very difficult to get it in your mouth and eat it, but once you do, it's like, ah. Oh. All right, I'm with Jeff. Max, Joe, and Wyatt, some swimmers here at Insomnia Cookies. What's your favorite cookie here? Deluxe S'mores. Guy agree from Deluxe S'mores. Chocolate chip. No, Deluxe S'mores. They love this place. Thanks for watching this episode of College Days. And stay tuned as we visit the biggest colleges in the USA. Peace.